Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper. Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues with a very special guest in the Nike hot seat today. He's one of the top blue chip recruits in the country. His name is David Carr. He joins us now. David, how are you? I'm doing great. Just want to thank God for this opportunity, and uh, I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you, and the big announcement needs to come from you verbally. You're going to be going to college where? Iowa State. Ohio State, Oklahoma State, Cornell, and Nebraska were all on the table for you. How did it boil down to Iowa State? I just felt like uh, Iowa State was a good fit, and I love the coaches. I love the people there, and uh, it's cool to continue the tradition of the Carr family. And, you know, my brother and my dad and uncles went there, so it's pretty cool. So it was important for you. I mean, let's face it, now you're a legacy. Was it important to keep the family tradition alive at Iowa State? Absolutely. I think it's really important. I think it excites the fans at Iowa State, and uh, I think they're going you know, to like down coming back, and I think it's going to be good. We're talking with David Carr. He's made his decision to wrestle for the Cyclones of Iowa State, Kevin Dresser's program there. Right now, you're the top-ranked wrestler at 160 pounds. Do you plan on getting any bigger this year, or will you be going down to 157 in college? What are the projections? Um, I want to get bigger. But I definitely, I think I'll definitely wrestle 57 in college. 57, okay. All right. Um, by the way, shout out to your pop. I know he was calling me minutes ago. I suppose I'll be talking to him a little later on. He's got to be on cloud nine as well. Was Iowa State high on your list prior to Kevin Dresser arriving in Ames? Um, I don't know about high on my list, but it was definitely a thought. I was thinking about it. Um, I like Iowa State. I like uh, Kevin Jackson, but it was definitely I was thinking about it, but not too much. But then once they got the um, coaching staff, it was pretty interesting. This is a remarkable coaching staff, isn't it? Absolutely. So uh, you've got Dresser, you've got Zadick, you got St. John, you got Metcalf, and even a few others. Uh, the opportunity to work out with Kevin Gadsden and others. Um, who are you looking forward to working out with most? Well, I like all of the coaching staff. I think they're great. Um, I think, in particular, I like St. John, Derek St. John. Uh, I've made a pretty good connection with him, and I'm excited to get my hands on him and wrestle him. He's got, I mean, he's got an amazing style, doesn't he? Yeah, I think it matches up with me pretty well. I do, um, too. I was just going to say that. Mm, I, what a great choice. What? All right, so t talking about the year in front of you, okay, because legitimately we're on the doorstep of the season. What big events do you plan on wrestling in this year? Iron Man, Beast of the East, uh, Medina, and the State Tournament are some big ones, and I'm excited for those for sure. Okay, and your goals competitively th this year are what? Just to have fun and learn as much as I can. I don't know about like just winning. Everything is just to – I want to grow as much as I can and get ready for college and just continue to be successful. So have you made a declaration of what you want to study, what area you want to study in as far as college goes? Yeah, communications and specifically uh, it's like broadcasting, film, photography. Oh like so we're going to get you in the studio, is that right? Yeah, it'd be cool to check it out, learn some <laughs> stuff from you. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Kyvin Gadsden's made himself a second home in the studio, and the invitation now to you is right out there. You're welcome anytime, any Saturday live on the air all right let's talk about skills brother i mean gosh you've got skills coming you know mad skills but where do you feel you need to improve um improve on i think i think every area i can improve i can always improve on my feet i need to move my feet more or shooting shooting more shots and trying to get more takedowns uh i've been working on my bottom a lot and uh you know just Continue to fix fix my bottom and fix my top. Just okay. To grow in every area. I know you are disappointed uh, in the results from the Junior World Team Trials taking fourth. That wasn't your ultimate goal there. What did you take away from the Junior World Team Trials? Uh, I think I took away the, the fact that to finish a match, you know, there's 30 seconds left in my semis match. Um, and I lost. Uh, Brady Burge is a tough opponent, and uh, I just 
and motivated me and got me ready. So just got to finish those matches. Okay. So looking or going back to Iowa State, um, the lineups are going to evolve over the next couple of years with your arrival and those of the teammates. Um, have you had a chance to look at the potential lineup and how you fit in? Uh, and, and even more so, how about your teammates' potential? Have you looked at all that? Yeah, I've been looking at the teammates a little bit. My favorite, uh, I have a lot of guys that I'm close with up there, uh, Marcus, um, Zero. You know, a lot of those guys are really cool and really tight. Even Earl Hall, he's not – uh, wrestling there, but he's training there at the RGC. I'm close with Kyvin, um, Caden Store. There's a lot of tough guys uh, there. They're awesome. And just looking at the recruits coming in uh, and just looking at everything, I think it's going to be great. I mean, they got Austin Gomez. They got Weston coming in. It's going to be great. Great team, I think. I, th I think so, too. I'm going to go over some of the recruits in a minute, but I want to just say, knowing how you were raised, and I know Nate Carr well, I know the family well, and all those aunts and uncles, and I know how you were raised. Like I knew Willie Gadsden and Kyvin Gadsden, how, how, how Dr. Danita and, and, and Willie raised uh, Kyvin. You know, there, there's, one, there's one way to do it, and that's the right way. Um, you have put that kind of theory and practice to work on the mat, in practice, in competition, and it's no, it's no, it's no surprise to any of us that you're the number one recruit at your weight, and in the top five pound for pound. But is there one championship that you've won, and you did it in Kentucky, and then three times in Ohio? Is there one of those, or perhaps a national junior championship or cadet world bronze medal? Is there one of those that really stands out as a moment when you knew you turned the corner? Turn the corner. You um, know, you just feel yourself getting better. For sure, I think when I won my, this is my sophomore year when I won Super 32, and that was like kind of one of the bigger ones I've won, and that just kind of started a great year. Okay. And uh, I just knew I was getting better. And then I think another moment uh, is Fargo. I was able to tech fall almost everybody except for one opponent. So just knowing that I'm getting better and, I'm learning new things. I'm just having more fun. Your father, Nate Sr., uh, said he wanted you to make your own decision and that he wanted to stay out of the recruiting process. Was he able to get that done? Yeah, he did a good job of um, – <laughs> He he always does a good job of not getting too much involved, but he definitely supports any decision I would have made. I'm sure he's happy at Iowa State, though. When did you first realize how good a man your father was? Just growing up, you know, he just he put he put a lot of emphasis in being a great person, having good character, putting God first, and uh, and then wrestling. And to be a good leader, I mean, if, if others want to emulate somebody who lives their their life right, who wrestles correctly, who goes to class and performs well academically, um, these are the types of lessons that you learned. From your family. Correct. And yes. evidenced, really, I think, by your... And, and it, it it's, it's almost seems simple to boil it down to 117, 20, and 1, uh, like, like Nate, Nate Sinu did at Iowa State. But legitimately, that's, that's the, the marker, isn't it? That's, that's uh, how we, we look at somebody's success while wrestling for Iowa State. This is an important legacy moment for you, you know? And, and I can honestly see you, knowing your quality and knowing your capability, I can honestly see you following in your father's footsteps, doing well at the collegiate level, and then making a mark on the Olympic map. Can you feel that? I can feel it for sure. Mm. And then perhaps someday, needless to say, I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, how cool would that be to be where your father is? To be right where he's at. Yeah, that was that's that's. Are you a cyclone at heart? Yeah. Okay, and I know your dad is. We've talked about that he and I, many many times. You join a talented cast of incoming uh, freshmen: Joel Shapiro, Isaac Judge, Anthony Sherry, Cade Lara, Francis Duggan, and I know there's going to be others. But this is really 
an outstanding class. I think the Cyclones and Cyclone fans, the Cyclone faithful, they've been up, that have been in there for the good times and the bad. They're going to be so excited to see the new look Iowa State Cyclones. Have they talked about redshirting yet? Yeah, a little bit. And do you believe that you will redshirt that first year? I think I'll redshirt. Okay. I think that's healthy. Get yourself acclimated to campus life, practice schedules, and all of that. Get some of the, uh, well, you know, I don't want to call them uh, needless classes, but some of those classes that take up so much time initially away from your core. And hopefully you'll be able to spend some time with us at, at the Takedown Radio Studios. David, congratulations for you. And I, and I surely wish you the best. I've known you a long, a long time, your family even longer. But what I've known about you is that you're a good young man, and I can't wait to see the athlete you turn into at the collegiate level. It's going to be a lot of fun. Congratulations. Thank you. It's always a good time with you. Hey, do me a favor. Take this opportunity right now to thank the people in your life, your coaches, your family, those folks that have been behind you and encouraging you, whether it's your brothers or, or aunts, uncles, uh, your, your personal family, your coaches. Who are they? Uh, first, I want to thank, uh, you know, first my dad, my mom, my family for always encouraging me to work hard. Uh, I want to thank Joe Carr, Joe Carr Sr., and JoJo. You know, they always pushed me when I was in Kentucky, and they – Left me with lots of good advice. They still, I still text them and call them all the time. Um, definitely my coaches, Macklemore, Danny, Jennington, um, they push me in the room every day and they look for, they want the best for me. And it's definitely amazing to have a good coaching staff and have that support. I mean, I got even my teammates, Kyle Gruber, Amos Sunland, uh, a lot of, a lot of teammates on there always encouraging me to do well. And, uh, I'm excited for the season, and I just want to thank all those guys for always being there. And there's tons of people I can list that have helped me out and with everything. So, And you know they do it because they want to do it, and there's a huge difference in that. Our guest today, making his announcement of where he's going to be going to school, is going to be a cyclone at Iowa State for Kevin Dresser and the balance. We're looking forward to that as well. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, and it's been a pleasure to talk to my buddy, brother Nate Carr, Sr., his littlest boy, and what a job he's done. Congratulations. I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching.